to case or not to case? That is the question. Which side do you fall on? In today's video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of having a case on your phone or whether going caseless is the way to go. Whether you have an iPhone like this one or an Android phone or something else, you'll definitely have decided which side of the argument you fall on. First of all, let's talk about why you might want to have a case on your precious phone. The most obvious reason is drop protection. No matter how careful you are, accidents happen and you don't want to end up with a cracked screen or shattered back. I've had a lot of phones in my time and only two of them have suffered from a cracked screen. But since that day, all of my phones have had a case on. You could say that I learned the hard way. But although some phones are naturally more durable than others, none of them are immune to damage. A case can help absorb the impact and redistribute force, saving your phone from serious harm. Another reason to use a case is to protect your phone from scratches and other cosmetic damage. It might not affect the functionality of your phone, but it can affect its appearance and resale value. If you care about keeping your phone looking pristine, or if you plan to sell it in the future, a case can help preserve its condition. This is my iPhone 13 Pro. In a few months time, it will be almost two years old and it's been in a case ever since I had it. If I take it out of the case like in its condition now, the back and sides are almost perfect and the screen, which I've had a screen protector on for about a year or so, when it comes to upgrade in September when the new iPhone comes out, I've got a cosmetically almost pristine phone that is going to attract a higher resale value compared to a less cared for iPhone that is going to be in poorer condition than this one. Another reason to use a case is to customize your phone and express your personality. There's so many cases out there with different colors, patterns, designs, and features. If you're extravagant and flamboyant, then you're going to be able to find one that suits your style and makes your phone stand out from the crowd. One of the main disadvantages of using a case is that it can add bulk and weight to your phone. So depending on the type and size of your case, it can make your phone harder to hold, fit in your pocket, or use with certain accessories. The iPhone, for example, has its MagSafe feature, and if you have a MagSafe compatible accessories that magnetically connect to your phone, then you're going to have to get a MagSafe compatible cases like these that carry over that feature. But most cases don't have that feature, which leads you to a decision of protecting your case or using the accessory. Another downside is that certain cases can affect the performance of your phone. Some cases can block your phone signal, causing dropped calls or slow data speeds. Some can also trap heat inside your phone, making it overheat and drain the battery faster. So if you do opt for a case on your phone, then you want to avoid one that covers the antenna or vents on your phone and ones that where your phone gets noticeably warm. The final drawback is that it can cost you money. While some cases are cheap and affordable, others can be quite expensive and overpriced. You might end up spending more money on a case than you need or want to, and you might also end up buying multiple cases for different occasions or moods, which can add up very quickly. So how do you decide if you should use a case on your phone or not? Well, it depends on several factors, such as the type and model of your phone, quality and durability of the case, the level of protection that you need, the style and design, and the budget that you have. Now, there's no one size fits all answer to this question, so you have to weigh the pros and cons for yourself and see what works best for you and your phone. To help out, I'm going to show you some examples of different types of cases and their pros and cons. And let's start with hard cases. Hard cases are made from materials like plastic, metal, or glass that are often thin and rigid, offering good protection against drops and scratches. They also come in various colors and designs, giving you plenty of options to choose from. However, hard cases also have some drawbacks. In certain hands, they can be slippery and difficult to hold, increasing the risk of dropping your phone. And the cases themselves tend to show scratches more easily than soft cases. Now, on the other side of that, you've got soft cases, which are made from materials like silicon, leather, or TPU, which is a soft plastic. They are usually flexible and cushiony, offering good shock absorption and grip. And they also come in various textures and patterns, giving you plenty of options to choose from. However, they can attract dirt and dust more easily than the hard cases and can also get stained or discolored by sweat or other substances. And lastly, we have combo cases, which tend to be made from a combination of hard and soft materials such as plastic and rubber. These are usually thick and sturdy, offering the best protection against drops and shocks. And they also come in various shapes and sizes, giving you plenty of options to choose from. And whilst so far we've only talked about cases, what about going caseless? There are some benefits to keeping your phone caseless too. Like without a case, your phone is going to be thinner and lighter, fitting more easily into your pocket or a purse. 
And while most people buy beautiful looking smartphones and hide them in generic cases, just remember without a case, you can show the world the color and beauty of your smartphone's native design. But from a functionality point of view, some cases that do interfere with gestures, especially those that involve swapping inward from the end of the screen, Without the case, those gestures become far easier to perform. And finally, every year manufacturers create millions of phone cases that end up in landfills when people upgrade their phones or change their cases. So without the case, you can reduce your environmental impact. And of course, the drawbacks of going caseless, such as increased risk of damage, scratches or fingerprints are the exact reasons why you would get a case. But even if you don't want to get a case, you may want to consider getting a screen protector or skin to protect your phone from these issues. But ultimately, it's up to you to decide what works best for you and your lifestyle. So there you have it. A quick overview of the pros and cons of having a case on your phone or going caseless. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. Let me know in the comments below whether you're team case or team caseless. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.